exactly one week from today, we'll be recovering from the first football Friday of the season. And we won't be able to shake one great thought. Football is back. Our top 22 continues to help us count down to kickoff. And for that, we meet our first selection of the season from the defensive line. It's Dunbar's Jeffrey Pooler. The 6'4", 270 pound defense end is committed to play at Maryland. And last year at Chaminade Julienne, Pooler recorded 40 tackles and four sacks for the Eagles. The defensive standout will bring a new dimension to Dunbar's defense and for that matter, a new element to the Wolverines offense as well. But what he adds on the D-line is quite apparent. Pressure on defense, like we have a, a nice set of DBs. I think all of them returned from last year. So with a deep, good defensive line to put pressure on the quarterback, it should help those guys out a lot. He's the anchor to our defensive line. I think he really, uh, when he came back, he really put that, put that it to our defense. Uh, now we know we have the run support and the pass rush. Um, he, he's that guy. He, his, he has a high motor. He, uh, he gets the D-line fired up, gets his defense going, and I think a lot of people are going to be scouting for him. I like that target, and it's helped the other guys. If I'm getting double team one-on-one, -on -one, they should be able to win their matchup. Now, Pooler's addition also does a lot more for Dunbar than just make the team more formidable in the trenches. Head coach Darren Powell has been trying to change the culture of Dunbar football. At a school known more for basketball and track, football can slip through the cracks a little bit. But with Pooler and guys like Terrence Landers, this isn't the same team that spent the last four years hovering around 5-5 five and five and 6-4. and four. The senior class and captains coming together and getting on the younger guys and like Putting, trying to get a winning attitude and told, to those guys and let them know, like, it's time to change it around. He's easy to follow. Uh, like, it, it, like I say, he buys in, everyone else buys in. It makes it easier on the coaches. Uh, we don't got to yell at the guys because, you know, they see a captain and a leader doing this, so it makes it easy for us. We expect nothing less than a 10-0 record, to be honest. Uh, I think we got the skill set, the players to do it.